The constant flood of COVID-19 and misinformation through social media and other platforms is creating even more problems for health care workers and their personal safety. Yeah, health officials in northern Idaho say that in some cases, the misinformation is creating hostility for patients and even people out in the community. Some nurses and other medical workers are afraid to go to the grocery store in their scrubs for fear of being attacked. And a Caldwell doctor is among health care workers who has seen that misinformation and how it could lead to possible violence. She's even been threatened herself. Doctors and nurses on the front line against the COVID-19 pandemic have faced many challenges, including the growing trend of violence toward medical staff. Earlier this month, Idaho doctor Ashley Carvalho says she was threatened by a COVID-19 patient's family member after she refused to provide ivermectin or Plaquenil. Ivermectin is a drug commonly used to treat parasites in animals, and Plaquenil is commonly used to treat malaria. A family member um, that I hadn't met before again started demanding ivermectin and Plaquenil, and I kind of went through the reasons again why we aren't using those medications. Um, the National Institute of Health has a recommendation against Plaquenil in the use of treating COVID, and ivermectin is being looked at in some clinical trials, but um, it's not FDA approved. It's not licensed in the treatment of COVID. One of the family members went as far as threatening to shoot her, saying, "Quote." I have a lot of ways to get people to do what I want them to do, and they're all sitting in my gun safe at home. I had to get security involved, not not specifically because I was worried for my own safety, um, but really the patient was in so much distress and the family wasn't allowing me to treat them with the medications that we actually do use for COVID. An incident Ashley believes happens because of spread of misinformation. I think that that's why this family in particular was demanding those drugs because there's a lot of information, misinformation from uh, high ranking members, high ranking members of the medical community on the internet. That's just widely available right now. And she says her experience is just a fraction of what nurses are dealing with right now. Um, it's really disheartening and it's it's scary. Um, it's stressful. COVID is already a really stressful situation and it definitely makes it worse, especially on healthcare workers that are already stretched so thin. YouTube is cracking down on all videos that spread misinformation about the COVID-19 vaccine or any vaccine. It is banning multiple accounts run by anti-vaccine users. YouTube says it removed more than 130,000 videos last year for violating its COVID-19 policies.